Hey, what is going on guys? So there's an issue with Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PC right now where your mouse cursor will be like stuck on the screen and it will not go away. I, and um, I, I want to say this issue has to do with the Epic Game Store because my other friends, they all were smart and bought it on the Rockstar Game Store. I bought it on the Epic Game Store because I was like, oh, I don't want another launcher, so I'll just buy, I already have Epic Games, so I bought it on there, and I got the Rockstar launcher anyways. So, if this is a heads up for anyone, don't, just don't buy it on the Epic Game Store, just don't. It's pointless. It's, just don't do it. I was dumb. Regardless, um, there's the issue that the mouse stays on the screen, and I haven't really pinpointed the exact way to fix this i just went through a few things and it made my the cursor go away when i started playing it so i'm just gonna go over those like few things and show you guys what i what i did and maybe it will it will just fix it for you guys too and um what i did first was um I went to the Epic Games executable, which if you have an icon on your desktop, you can actually just go open file location and then boom, it'll pop up right here. And what I did is I right clicked on it, went to properties, uh, compatibility, and I just did run it as, as administrator. You hit apply and then okay. And then uh, at that point, it'll just start up as administrator. And um, what next what I did is I actually disabled the Discord overlay. I don't know if this was r the issue, but it's, it's an overlay and, you know, it was worth a shot. I disabled it. I don't really use it that much anyways, so I just, I just got rid of it. And then next thing I did, I, I saw a guy in a video do um, go to the Red Dead Redemption 2 executable. And he also went to properties. Oh, that's not properties. And then um, went to compatibility and then clicked run program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. He didn't do uh, run as administrator because for some reason it doesn't let you. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but the game will not launch if you do this. So just uh, don't click on that. And then hit apply and okay. Um, and then... Pretty much what I did after that is I just restarted my computer, and then when um, I launched my computer up again, um, Epic Games naturally starts up with my computer, so I went over to this arrow here, I exited it out, and I, and I closed it. So the Epic Games launcher is not running right now, and then what I, what I did is I clicked on it, run it. It was going to run as administrator. And then it'll load up. And then what I did is I clicked on the quick launch. And then pretty much the second I clicked on the qu quick launch, I closed it. And then... Now it'll go through Rockstar's thing and it'll it'll take a minute to load up and whatever. And then that's pretty much what I did. Um I don't I, I still don't know what the exact issue is because once I I closed out the Rockstar not the Rockstar, closed out Red Dead Redemption 2. And then, um, I just launched it from the Epic Game Store, and it di didn't really do any, didn't do anything different. I kept the Epic Game Store launched up, and everything. And the, the cursor wasn't there anymore. It's, it still wasn't there. So I, I don't exactly know what the the issue is, and I'm sorry I can't give like a a direct answer um, on how to fix. The issue this is just what I did and it ended up going away now cursor obviously pops up around here 
and that's fine. But once you go into free roam, if your cursor is on this screen, this loading screen, that that means you're still having the issue. But if it does not pop up on the screen, you're, that means you're good. That means you're solid. And you should be able to start it up and play as you will. And that's really all I got. Um, I really do hope this fixes the issue for you guys because it is fucking annoying. It is, it is unplayable to play with that just on your screen. Um, I know some people, what they ended up doing um, is if you have a controller, just hide your mouse off the screen and then just use your controller. Uh, I have a controller, but I don't really like using it. I really do like the mouse and keyboard a lot more, so I went out of my way to try and fix this. So, as you can see, no, no cursor. I'm s playing it just fine. No cursor on my screen. So... Thank you guys for watching. I, I really, really hope this fixes the issue for you because um, it's just it made it was getting me really, really upset, and I and I totally understand if it's getting you upset. But if it doesn't work for you, I, I'm I'm sorry. I don't I don't really know what else to do. Um. Because this is what I ended up doing. I think I, I do think the the restarting of the computer um, definitely probably did something after I, I put in all those changes, the administrator and stuff like that. So I definitely really would do that. Um, but that that's all I really have. I again I really hope this works out for you guys. And thank you guys for watching.